where I'll find my happiness. Happy birthday to you. Modesta, it's your day. Anastasia, get up. It's a great day outside. Get up. I support the theory of small deeds. Breakfast is in 10 minutes. Anastasia! I know, I know. The lunch is in the fridge. Don't expect me for supper. Stand up straight. Your father will check your homework. That's right. Mm. Mom? Happy birthday. Wow, you didn't forget. Thank you. I'm not an 80-year-old, you know. I don't complain about your memory. How pretty. Oh. Ah. What could this be? They're just beads. I made it myself, by the way. I hope you'll grace us with your presence today. Oh, Mom, not again. Not like you ever come. It wouldn't hurt, you know. They're our friends. What am I going to do while you old geezers sit and talk all day? Thank you, dear. But I'm only 39. Hey, Mom. How about we celebrate at our country house? We can do it some other day. I see you didn't have breakfast again. Oh, never mind. I'll have lunch. Yeah, but at lunch you won't have time again. Just take a look at yourself. You're getting too skinny. I have better things to do, that's all. Well, well sorry then, Miss Nadezda. You'll know what it's like to be responsible for the family and for a whole team. I don't really care about a team. I'll be better off becoming an artist. When I was a girl, I used to talk back to my mom, too. And then everything fell into place. You're not me, so that won't happen. All right, I'll see you later tonight. Hello. Hello. I don't even know how to thank you, Nadezda. It's a boy. He weighs seven pounds. Congratulations. Having such difficult labor, if you hadn't gotten us to that hospital, I don't know what would have happened. We'll pray for you forever. It's no big deal. It was his destiny to get a good doctor. Ah, you're such a good person. Good things always happen to good people. Good afternoon. Uh, could you please let me in? Show me your ID, please. Don't you recognize me? It's my first day on the job. I don't know anyone. Well, my name's Stepova. My name is on the folder, and you've got it right there. And it says in black and white not to let anyone in without a proper ID. If you're who you say you are, you should fire the soldier who let you in without it. What soldier is that? I just... Came back from being deployed, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm here. I can't get into the office. Some guard is asking for my ID. Call the head of security for me. Nadesta, ma'am. Come through, please. 
Where did you find that man? Don't you show photos of the heads of the company to the new employees? What kind of mess is this? I'll look into it, ma'am. Good morning, Utra. Oh, good morning, madam. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Forgive that fool. It's only his first day at work. <sighs> Thanks so much. Sveta, make some coffee. Yet yeah, not in the mood. The guard didn't let her in. Mm -hmm. Nadezda, coffee will be ready in a moment. Gather the whole sales team, please. All right, ma'am. Therefore, during the second half of the year, we are projected to increase sales in this product category by 15%. I've prepared some materials for you to take a look at. Thank you, Lena. Why is she coming to work with a belly like that? Give her maternity leave. What maternity leave? She's in charge of turning in the quarterly report. She can work from home. Why are you torturing her? Give her a bonus and let her stay at home. We have this thing called email now, you know. You sound like a nurse. If you actually cared about her, I wouldn't have to sound like one. Hi. Hello. Only my wife can be late for her own birthday. Hmm? But I was afraid not to make it on time from the work trip. I hurried. Here I am, right on the dot and hungry like a wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, suppliers let me down. And I had to call a meeting. Why? You know, you could have called me. It's uncomfortable sitting here eating while you're working on your birthday. Oh, it's nothing. Why hasn't our daughter called? Uh, she's at the movies. No respect for the birthday girl. It's all right. Nadezda, this present is from us. Here. Oh. Be happy and live a long life. Wow. How beautiful. Hmm. Expensive, perhaps? What can be more expensive than friendship? Congratulations, Nadezda. Be healthy and be loved. Thank you, Serez. Hmm? <laughs> Sergey. Mm. <laughs> I'll leave this thing alone for the night. <sighs> okay. Well, my dear friends, we've been together for 30 years. Alive and kicking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually very happy to go through life with friends, especially since we met in school. The most important thing is that we can rejoice at each other's victories and support each other in a difficult moment as well. So to friendship. Cheers. Very well said. I won't forget you guys. Yes, to our children. <laughs> Modesto, hmm? do you at least go out from time to time? Where to, Sonia? The theater, a museum? Mm hmm to the library? That's not what I'm talking about. To the pool, to the cosmetologist, the spa. You think I should? Oh, come on, you really should. Have I gotten old? No, you're not old. You are beautiful, but you're tired and you look overworked. Sonia, I feel like they're getting distant from me. Who? Sergei and Anastasia. I do everything for us, for the family. <laughs> and then I said, Well, oh, that no. didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. <laughs> oh, my frenemy. <laughs> Hello, Constantine. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello there. Have a seat. No, no thank you. However, I couldn't help coming to congratulate you. I got a gift. And what is it? Something you cannot reject, Nadezda. All right. Mm -hmm. You want to sell your business to me. No, no. I don't even want to buy yours. But hmm. I suggest we merge our companies, and together we'll bury all competitors. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I'm actually not ready to... Yeah, I understand. You're a lonely she-wolf. You ripped fate's throat, and you don't want to share your prey with anyone. No. 
but you're also a good businesswoman. Nadesta, please, read the contract I've proposed, and don't rush with the answer, okay? It's a deal. Anyway, it was good seeing you. Good evening, everyone. All the best, mm -hmm. goodbye. See you. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Take these flowers, please. Wow, what do you think? I don't know. Well, it's a tempting offer. But you need to check the technicalities. He's a snake, you know that. He could plant any bomb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what does my husband think? What does he think? You get the final say anyway. It'll be as you decide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's drink. Shall we? Mm. To you, dear. Well, thank you. Oh my god, she's still not home. She sent me a text message. She'll be late. A boy is going to walk her home. What boy? She's only 16. She's already 17, actually. She's at the theater. You said she was at the cinema. I didn't. I assumed it. Why didn't she call me? Well, she called me. You're busy all the time, aren't you, sweetheart? Somebody has to raise our only daughter. Ooh, wow. Listen, will your clients ever leave us alone? Can't they wait until tomorrow? It's Gulaev. He's got a problem with customs. You know, Gulaev. Whenever he has a problem, he starts calling me and turns into a nervous wreck. That's why he writes at night. I made it back, safe and sound. Where have you been? Oh, that's great. The parents already had their fun with their friends in a restaurant. Now they're home to fight with their daughter. That's commendable. Listen, young lady. We are all going to the dacha tomorrow. The whole family. Are we family or neighbors? Mom, come on. I have classes tomorrow. Let's go on the weekend at least. Since when do you care about classes? You have classes, Dad meets Guliev, with clients and customs. What about me, huh? Does anyone need me in this house at all? Dan, what's wrong? Just leave her alone. We haven't been to the dacha in a long time. Client? No. What? Or Guliev. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, what? Do you even listen to me? I listen to you sometimes. Do you even notice me, Nadezda? Yeah, I do. That's why I'm taking you all to the dacha. To speak heart to heart. That's what we all used to do. Mom, what's wrong? What is it, for God's sake? It feels like I'm alone. Completely alone. And my heart is breaking. Mom, stop complaining. We'll be there soon. Dacha, barbecue, everything you want. I want my family. To want to be with me, I feel trapped like a hamster. I feel like I'm in a hamster wheel. Oh, God. I wish I could break out from this vicious cycle and stay alone. All alone. You see, now it must have gone. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 
think that's the solution. She must be moving up. She must have been quiet. Nadezda. You woke up. Our dear friend. What happened to me? You were in an accident. But where are they? My husband and daughter. Heaven. We did everything. We weren't able to save them. But why didn't I know? I should have been there. You've been in a coma for three weeks. We didn't even know if you would wake up. You'll get better. I give you my word. My word as a doctor. Nadezda! Wait, wait, wait. Calm down. Calm down. No, what are you doing? Let me go. Calm down. No! Olya! No. Come here, quickly! No, let Hurry me go. up! I have to go! Let's go! Okay. I need to leave right now! It's all right. It's all right. Oh my god, stop! Calm down, calm down. <laughs> In. Be careful. Now you're doing well. You're doing really well. The doctors told us that you wouldn't walk, but you are walking. It's all fine. Now keep going. That's it. Good, good, good. Tolik is saying that you're getting well very quickly, Nadezda. From what I can see, it's absolutely yeah, sure. true. He's right. Like that. Good. That's good. Good. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You're about to walk just like you did before. can walk by myself. All right, Nadezda. Your blood pressure is almost normal. In a week, we're going to release you. We should start thinking about what's next in your reintegration. What for? You need to come back to life. You need to think of your future. It means nothing. I want them back. Sergei and Anastasia. Here, let me help you undress. Don't.
Sonia, I need to be alone now. All right, if you need me, I'll be in the other room. No, please. I want to be left alone. Don't worry about me. I won't do anything to myself. I just need to talk to them. To be with my family. Yes. Okay. What do I need to do? Wash the windows? Payment documents. <sighs> On Sergei's computer. You actually got me back to working. I can't believe I actually fell for it. Nadezda, it's difficult for me to answer because I never asked him such questions and he didn't tell me anything to begin with. We didn't have that type of relationship. He was going to leave us. I didn't know. He didn't tell me that. It's not like it matters. It was my fault. There's no way that could even be your fault, Nadezda. I rarely saw my husband. I saw my daughter during breakfast, with a computer or her cell phone between us. I think you're jumping to the wrong conclusions too quickly. I decided to leave you in charge. Excuse me, but in what sense I thought I was in charge already? I trust you and you have healthy ambitions. I'm going to transfer the general power of attorney to your name. Nadush, I'm begging you. Calm down now, time will pass. You'll be okay. Everything will go back to normal and you'll have a new life. I believe in you. I wish I could sort all this out. Ah. 
hello there, Nadesta. Did you have a child? A boy. His weight? A little over eight pounds. And what's his name? It's Sergei. When I gave birth to Anastasia, she was so small. Then she started to grow and gain weight. I'm very sorry for your loss. Do you need anything for the child? In what sense do you mean? In the material sense. No, thank you. Sergei managed to take care of us. Are, are you going to fire me now? I'm not. I guess I can't even forgive myself. I can't, Father. Learn how to forgive. If you can't, God will forgive you. I wanted my family to be united and happy. I wanted to love my daughter, but I was always lecturing her. I wanted to love my husband, but I never paid attention to him. I wanted to say I love you, but I told him I wanted to be alone. That's such a terrible thing to say, Father. How is it that I can help you? I want to be admitted into the monastery, Father. Dear Nazista, you haven't exhausted all of your options yet. A woman becomes a spouse of Christ, not of grief, but of joy. You don't have enough humility yet. Come in a year, and perhaps you'll get an answer. Answers come when we least expect it. Thank you, Father. Nadouche, what the hell are you doing? You run away, you disappear, everyone is worried. Sonia told me that you were going to the monastery, that you talked to a priest. He didn't admit me into the monastery. Nobody needs me. Listen, I need you. And everybody here needs you. Vadim, what do you work for? Well, for money. I'm almost done. Paying off my house? Also, money gives freedom. Why are you asking? I have an apartment and a house. Tell me, why do I need all that? There's only one thing I know. When it hurts and feels bad, work helps. I used to know what I worked for, but now... All right, please, I'm begging you. Stop being so gloomy. You know that's not true. You can't live without work. You used to be the first one to come and the last one to leave. You invented this business. You gathered these people. You started this machine. You've already done all the heavy lifting. Now you can come in at noon and leave at five in the afternoon. Don't you like that? How's the office? It's all fine at the office. 
I should have handed the power over sooner rather than argue with you. Now you are coping with everything. All right, come on, let's go. Stop the car. up thinking that I have to wake Anastasia up and then I remember and I want to close my eyes and never wake up listen a douche you can stay at my place if you want to I've got two guest rooms either of them is at your disposal Take me to my mother's place. Um, to your mom's apartment? Mm hmm But you wanted to fix the apartment. I don't want to fix anything. I want everything to be like it was. When I was alone. When there was no one. When I had nothing. When I was alone. You still have me. I appreciate that. Thank you, Vadim. You can go. Well, you're welcome. Nadezna, I can stay if you need me to. No, you can go. Thank you. Here's your change, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Natasta. You're a Stepova. Mrs. Vera? Mrs. Vera? I used to be just Aunt Vera to you. It's been a while. I heard you're now... A prestigious and renowned businesswoman. Well, tell me, girl, how's the family? Is Sergei still as handsome as he used to be? I haven't seen that rascal for ages. And Anastasia? She's a big girl now, right? Whom does she look like, you or Sergei? Nadesta? Nadesta, what's wrong? 
Oh, Aunt Vera. I wish I could get everything back. Nadesta, don't hold back. Cry, girl. It'll make you feel better. You need to. I left all of myself with them. Yes, but you can't turn back time. What should I do? You need to learn how to live again, my dear. How to live? What's there to do? Read some books? Sure, why not? Why not books? You've always liked reading, didn't you? Oh, there's no one like you now. No one runs to the library uh, right after classes and reads all day. They don't care for books. But I was so happy here. Kids are completely different these days. You know, I can't even find employees for the library now. I'm not a nobody, you know. I'm the head of a library. But then again, who would come here to... Who would agree to this beggarly salary? It's less than a janitor makes. Let me have the job. You? I have to do something. I need to... What do you mean you have nothing else to do? There's your business. I don't want to. Well, wait just a second. You told me I needed to look for the right person. Hmm? I am your only option. All men are bastards. How do you know? Do you like books? <laughs> do you want some tea? That's a beautiful bracelet. <laughs> Do you still want tea? Good evening. Good evening. That's a big library. You read a lot of books, right? Why are you here? Why am I here, you ask? You taught me that a boss should be aware of the lives of his employees, and you happen to be the head of the company, so I, I came and brought you the reports. I hope everything's fine. Everything's great. 
Let's go have dinner. Hmm? Let's go. Sit down. Be careful. All right. So what might satisfy your palate today, madam? It doesn't matter. You got it. I'll choose then. You have to be responsible for someone. You need to get your mind off yourself. Nadezda, hello. I brought cakes. Nice to see you, Natasha. I bought them at the bakery. Want to have some tea? Let's have some tea. I have no one to talk to. My mother moved to another city with my stepfather. She left me here with Grandma. Never pity yourself. I suppose you don't pity yourself, Nadezda, right? Right. And sometimes you give advice that you cannot follow. Adults do that all the time. You don't want to use your cell phone around me. Hmm? Eat up. A year has passed like it was a day. Yeah, sometimes it feels like a day. And sometimes like several years. I'm telling you, this summer we should fix the flat, Nadesta. You'll be able to drive and do something, get distracted. It's better than reading books. Vadim's right. Hmm. Come back to the team. What would we do without you? Mm -hmm. Although Tolia's against it. Nadesta, you're doing great. Keep on like this. The office is a prison for her. You need to see a bigger picture and do spontaneous activities. Mm -hmm. Be in the moment. This is the best thing for you now. I'm telling you this as a doctor. I don't think she'll listen. Mm. Yeah, Tolia, you're right. Listen, I wanted to ask you. Did Lenochka come back to work? No. She moved overseas. Why is that? And God knows why. Perhaps it was to get her personal life straight. What about the child? The child stayed here. What do you mean, with whom? The child's with his grandma. All right. Good for her. Uh-huh. Good.
Excuse me. Are you Ludmilla? What? How are you? Who are you? I am... from the Children's Rights Protection Department. Whom are you going to protect? We know that. Your grandson lives with you here, ma'am. Um... Mm. They took my grandson. Pfft. Who did? My ex. That's why I'm depressed. I gave him my youth. Lost my health due to it, too. First, he took my daughter and now my grandson. He's nothing but a damn bastard. I can't believe he did that to me. He just took him away. Away from me. Where does he... your ex live? How are you? Hello. I'm looking for Ivan. Oh, are you a relative? It's nice to meet you. Hmm. And this is? Oh, this is his grandson. I babysit him in the afternoon. His grandpa forgot diapers, so he had to run over to the corner store. He'll be back soon. I'm supposed to be on my way to my daughter's birthday. Come in. We'll have tea and wait for him. He shouldn't take long. Huh? Well, his wife used to drink and wander. That's why they uh, eventually got divorced. And then suddenly her daughter left her a child. She doesn't talk to the father. It's a complicated relationship. Why's that? Mm. Ivan is a very strict man. He wants everything to be by the book. But who lives by the book nowadays? Mm. Here he is. Well, how's Sergey? Everything's fine. We have a guest. What guest? Nice to meet you. What are you doing here? Do we know each other? I'll go take care of Sergey. Of course. You don't even remember me. Sorry, but how do you know me? It's difficult to forget someone who fired you on the very first day in the job. Hmm, that was you. I didn't know. Forget it. Did you bring my severance pay? What severance pay exactly? Stop making a fool out of me. Can we talk for a moment? We are talking. The thing is that your grandson is... my husband's son. Sorry, I didn't have time to eat. Would you let me help? It's okay. Where are you working now? I'm in the rescue service. Must be interesting. It is. We rescue cats from trees. You know, she didn't really have a father that was around much. I was always away on work trips, the service, you know. That's why she never told me anything. Like it was never any of my business. This is a messed up world. I imagine your life's rough. I'm doing what I can. <laughs> this is from work. Yes. 
No, no, I can't do it. I'm taking care of my grandchild, I'm sorry. I can take care of Sergei. I can do it. Sergei, your father's name was Sergei. <laughs> he was wonderful, amazing, and kind. A handsome man. He made mistakes, but who doesn't? I loved him very much. Hmm. <laughs> oh, look at us standing on our little feet like that. He'll grow up to be so handsome, mm, so handsome, <laughs> right? Everyone will love you, and you will love everyone, won't you, Sergey? So let's sleep now, you spoiled baby, huh? Yeah. And where are you looking at? You look just like him. Huh? Mm? Yeah, don't you? Don't you, baby? Don't? Mm? What's bothering you? Are you hungry? It's okay. It's okay. You're just fine. Look at the beads I have. Look at them. A girl I know gave me this bead bracelet. How did you sleep? Good morning. It's okay. Take it. Nadezda, I can see you cleaned up the house. That's too much. I can do it myself. I'm sorry. I guess I just feel guilty, Ivan. I've got a business proposal for you. Let's forget that I screamed at you and fired you once, and let's pretend that we only met each other yesterday for the first time. Sergey, what do you say? <coughs> it's a deal? Great, let me get some breakfast for all of us. Well, no. I'll make breakfast myself. There's... A great new supermarket nearby that I just bought something from. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Want to come to me? Come here, will you? Yeah? Want to come to me? You want to come to me? <laughs> you behave around me, don't you? I don't blame her, you know. Everyone's in the same situation. It's just, what would she do with the baby alone? Let her get her own life straight. So you don't talk to her at all? You know, one time, I was mad and told her what I thought. I understand. It's hard to imagine that your child doesn't live by your rules, you know? Yeah. It's even harder, you know, when you think that a man lives by one set of rules. But it turns out that he lives by another. That makes us companions in misfortune. Or in fortune. Hmm.
Nadesta. Hello. Hello. What's up? I needed to see you. Why is that? I decided to invite you to the movies. The movies? Haven't you been to the movies? I went there with Sergei three years ago. He used to go there with Anastasia. Listen, Nadezda, it... All happened, of course, but... It's all in the past. Don't live in the past. Move on. You have a future. I guess you're right. Yeah. Let's go. Get popcorn and watch a movie. No, thank you, Vadim. Sorry that I'm so boring. You're not boring. You're just a very serious person. And you've always been. That's why I always liked you. Really? You never said it. Well... Thank you for that. Hello. Hello, how are you? Why are you so quiet? Come on, tell me. <sighs> He's very nice. Hmm. On a white horse? More like a bike. You see, there's always a place for happiness in life. What about in your life? I already had it in mine. Nadezda, I know that someone is out there. You think? Of course I do. You just have to start. Can I propose a game? What game? Looking for a groom. I'm offering you a groom. And you say whether you like him or not. How about it? It sounds good. Let's play then. All right then. 42-year-old professor, an architect, looks just like George Clooney, divorced, goes on work trips all the time, depressed. Work trips are a no-go. He won't go on them. You can't just do that. Well, and the name? If you must know, the name is Arseny Petrovich. Ah, uh, Arseny Petrovich. My neighbor. So you're a matchmaker. Am I intruding too much? No. I understand that you mean well. But you're alone, and I thought... I know what you thought, Natasha. Well, it was you who said a woman shouldn't be too formal. Am I too formal? I'm sitting in the library and reading books. You can't hide in here forever. You are right. I hope you'll get back to work soon. Why is that? Why wouldn't I want you back? Thank you. Because it was you. It was you who came up with this business. You developed it. In this situation, we can only hope to sustain it without you. But we need you to expand ourselves. Vadim, why do you want to expand? Well, because it's a business. You're constantly saying that. I don't need to go back to the past. But you try to get me back there all the time. All right, just answer this one question. What, what is it that you need? Excuse me. It's okay. Hello, who is this? Yes, hello. I can today. I'll be there in half an hour. 
All right. Sounds good. Sorry, it's Sergei's son. Who? That was Ivan the grandpa. Uh, who is Ivan? Remember the last anniversary? You said that Lena gave birth to Sergei's child and left the child and she has a drinking problem. Lenochka's father took the child. Ivan Vasilovich. You get it? Yeah. The neighbor cares for the child, but she can't all the time. So I help out. And now he needs to go to work. Who does? Ivan. He needs to work. Can you take me? Do I have a choice? You don't. Uh, bring us the bill, please. Thank you. Stay there, I'll help. <sighs> Careful, it's slippery. Thank you. No, thank you for the wonderful evening. Sorry for spoiling it for you. Nadezda, you didn't. I hope we can do it again. You came. I really feel uncomfortable, uh, but I'll try to find a live-in nurse as quickly as I possibly can, I promise you. What are you talking about, Ivan? You don't need any of that. Give him to me. Sure. I don't mind babysitting, Sergei. It's yes. weird to hear that coming from you. You've got your own life. You're important, after all. But it's not a problem. I can manage both. <laughs> you seem to manage him better than I can, you know? <laughs> I'm thinking about Sergei. You understand how hard it is to not have parents. I grew up in an orphanage. All right. Yeah. See you later. Good morning. Good morning. How is the job? Here. It was okay. Took another cat out of a tree. A cat. I'm going to make some tea. Sit here, Sergei. Oh. How are you doing? Did she treat you well? Huh? What did you do in the army? Oh, you know, handling logistics. Hmm. My grandfather, he was an officer too. He went through the whole war. <clears throat> know what I was thinking? You were very right about the nurse. I'm ready to start working for you. Come on. Where am I going to find the money to pay you? Do you know how much a librarian earns? I'll charge you the same amount. Moreover, the schedule is even good for me. I can work for you at night. <clears throat> Listen, Nadezda, I don't always get calls at night. That's even better for me. I think it's a very good arrangement. You know, I really don't understand you. You're a beautiful young woman with plenty of admirers. You gave up your business. Don't you have anything better to do? It 
It's just that Sergei is the only family I have left. That's true, you know. Oh, Nadezda. You're running between such extremes. A director, a librarian, and a nurse. <laughs> How's the single father, Nadezda? Is he a real army man? A ladies man? Does he have his eye on you? He's just Sergei's grandfather. I'm only there for the child. Oh, really? He seems like a good man. He's got a soldier's personality. I hope Sergei won't take after him. Then again, why would you like him? You haven't even seen him. Hmm, as a person. He saddled himself with the child. He's a responsible man. That's what I like about it. The responsible man doesn't pay attention to me. Perhaps he's afraid of you. He's no ladies' man, if he's afraid of me. But you said that you fired him. Let's just say it wasn't exactly me who fired him and he wasn't afraid back then. Why would he be now? Oh. Nadezda, I think you don't know what you want yourself. <laughs> Aunt Vera, what's important is not what I want. It's what I can do. Nadezda, if you want to, you can do it. <laughs> you can do anything. Mm. Nadezda. Hello, Vadim. Hello. Why are you here? I was waiting for you. You weren't picking up the phone. Is everything all right? Oh, I guess I left the phone at home. I see. Who are these for? Uh, they're for you. Well, thank you. They're nice. You're welcome. Listen, here's why I came. Uh, Constantine wants to buy the company again. You know, he made us an offer that we'd be better off not refusing. The thing is... Vadim, you know you should deal with these matters yourself. Wait, I'm... Please, I'm uh... asking. All right, as you wish. I'll go. Okay. Thank you for the flowers. scared me. Hello? Hello. Come on. Here you go. There you are. Stay. These are for you. For me? Mm -hmm. What for? To make you smile. You always have a look on your face as if you've been sent to war for the second time. I do? You do. Do you even smile? I wish you would talk about yourself and what you think about and what you care about. All right, enough. Listen to me, you old vet. Do you know how to talk to a woman? You're no woman, you're a nurse. And a nurse isn't a woman? That's besides the point. What's up What's with up you? What's up with me? Attacking you is my best defense, right? But you can't even think in civilian terms, can you? Were you ever not a soldier? Of course I was. Then why are you treating me so formally? Do I look like a businesswoman to you? No. No? No. No. Then why am I giving you flowers and not vice versa? Oh, you... You know how to mess with my head and turn it all around with your female logic, oh, don't really? you? Oh, really? You wouldn't know about female logic because you never talked to one. You're... Yeah, what? What? for me, thank you very much. <laughs> Hello. Hello. 
Who's this? This is Sergey, right? This is Sergey. He's so cute. <laughs> I Hello work here now, there. by the way, Miss Nadesta. My apologies. Thank you for recommending her. She's oh, a very good girl. And this is oh. a very good looking boy. My love. Who is Why this is my for? Baby crying? What's Who wrong, is this Sergei? for? It's for you, for your first day. Okay, thank you. Come to Andy. Here, come. <laughs> come on, you little devil. Come over here. Do, 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 do. Let's have some tea. Come let's on, let's this. go, ladies. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Sergei. let's go, ladies. Let's go. He's so cute. Tea will be good. How's yes. school? Nothing but A's and B's. Nadezda. Nadush. Hello. Hello. Why aren't you at work right now? Well, I've prepared the report already. Ah, uh, with Constantine and the papers? You know, I've got quite, quite different materials. I, um... What is this? This is... Nadezda. Will you marry me? Vadim, you want me to marry you? Yeah, marry me. All right, look, I know that we're standing in the street. And it can look a bit random to ask, but you know... How I felt about you for a very long time. I don't think it's any surprise to you. I could never dare ask before. Uh, you were in a relationship, but now you're not, so... I've been waiting for a very long time. Vadim, it's just so unexpected. I really don't know what to say. I'm just not ready. At least not now. I'm sorry. You're not planning on spending your life in the library while raising someone else's child, He's are you? He's not someone else's Sorry, I just mean that, well... You're a young, beautiful woman, and you're not going to be all right spending your Please life don't. alone. I'm begging you. That's enough, Adin. Nadezda, the two of us could achieve so much together. But I don't want to achieve anything else. All right, I will achieve everything myself. I'll do everything. Nadezda, please, promise me that you'll think about it. I'll be waiting for you as long as you want. Is he okay? He's alive. <sighs> Hello. Could you tell me which ward Prilukov is in? The fourth. Are you his wife? Yes. Is Sergei okay? Yes, thank God. He's with the neighbor. Do you know how much you scared me? Are we on a first name basis? What do you say if we take things slowly? I can't understand what you saw in me. First of all, you're a man. I'm not afraid of anything with you. And I also like that you're a very boring man. So you think I'm boring then? Mm. Let's go. Inside.
Where are you going? I'm moving. Back? With my soldier. Now that's news to me. Who is this soldier? Well, he's Sergei's son's grandfather. Wait, he is whose grandfather? He's Lena's father. <gasps> when did this happen? What? Why? H how did that even... I, I can't say anything. I'm a bit shy about it. I'm afraid to jinx it. I'll invite you over. How about you tell me how you're doing? You'd better sit down then, Sonia. <sighs> Did you know that the Dim sold the company to Constantine? Mm, no, but I asked him to check into that matter. <sighs> Did you give him general power of attorney? I did. He had the power to do anything on my behalf. And he did. Do you know where the money went? Offshore. He stole it while I was on sick leave. Right. Do you know that he proposed to me? To marry him. Are you serious? Mm. He even bought a ring. <laughs> That's incredible. <sighs> Don't you know me? I'm very sorry, Miss Nadesta. Your ID card is canceled. I was told not to let you in. I'm no one important. I'm sorry. Use the power of attorney given by you. You've always been an honest person. We were best friends and you betrayed us. Me, Sonia, the memory of Sergei. An honest person. <sighs> what is an honest person? Or perhaps you were a decent person when I... You just used me, Nadezda. Like an errand boy, like your pet. Vadim, just remember, you came and rose from a nobody to a deputy CEO in half a year. Yes, I earned that spot in the company. I worked for it. I'll tell you a secret. Only two people worked in the company. You and I. So you deserved more? I did, and I still do. I understand. You're upset I didn't let you into my bed. You're just an envious scumbag. Nadesda, you made me into a scumbag. Don't bother coming here ever again. Come on, get your ass out of here. Oh. Security! Oh. Oh. You're gonna pay for this? Oh. Get him out of here! You don't have to do that. Leave me! Ivan, let's run! I've never run away from anyone. I'm telling you once again, he hit me and I want to file a complaint. 
Well, ma'am, all the witnesses say that your friend, the veteran, has beaten up four people, two of whom were police officers. Their badges didn't say police officers. They were just guards. Well, you better call a lawyer. You'll always have time to file a complaint. <clears throat> Comrade Lieutenant General, there were no incidents during my watch. I'm the officer on duty, Captain Kuninoff. Where's Prelogoff? Took you a while, Lieutenant General. I've told you so many times, idiot, to find out exactly who you're dealing with. He's a hero of Russian special forces. Nothing was written on his record. Didn't you see how bad he knocked your guys around, didn't you? You better pray nothing happens. Oh, but damn, there are some people here that want... Vadim Petrovich, we've come here on behalf of the Economic Crime Bureau. How are you, Father? I'm doing fine. Can I come in? Good morning, Miss Nadezda. Hello. I came to visit with Sergei. I'll go make some tea. Can I come in? Of course. I've got a two-year contract. You understand what it is to live in a civilized country. Thankfully, it's going well between me and Gunter. Mm, well, there is one problem. Gunter doesn't like kids. I would be very grateful if Sergei stayed with you for a while. Well, of course it's no problem. Hold on, hold on. It's not that simple. How long are you going to jump around from place to place? The boy needs stability. In short, if you want to leave Sergei with us, prepare the documents for adoption. He needs to go to kindergarten soon, by the way. I always knew you were the best father. <laughs> I'll be grateful to you for the rest of my life. I didn't know how to begin talking about it. I've already prepared the documents. What? Well, Nadezda, are you ready for the monastery now? No, Father. Why is that? I haven't exhausted all my options yet. May God be with you, then. Thank you, Father. Ah. Uh -huh. Hello, Nadezda. Hello, Please Constantine. <clears throat> Thank you. I guess I can congratulate you. Well, looks like Vadim wasn't just a mean person, but also a stupid one. Why? I don't know. Maybe he was born that way. Anyway, I don't need him anymore. And where is he now? He's under investigation. I punished him. 
You used him and threw him away. <laughs> I guess you can say that. Why did you invite me? I'm an obsessive person. I want to offer the same deal as before. Why would you? You got everything. Nadezda, if you were to work together with me, the part of the business you used to own is going to remain yours. I've got another business now. Which is? A husband and a child. That's what I think. The only child in the family always grows up to be an egoist. Let's have another one. Well, I don't know yet. Stop thinking about it. Thank you.